Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. Today I'm going to take you through a very amazing feature that Xtool has launched for free within your program. So I'm going to walk you through an entire project that you can make with me or you can make it on your own with a different prompt. So when you are inside of XCS, make sure you're logged in. You can click on this de design find on the left hand side. Now design find has a ton of projects. So if you are new and you want to do proven projects, you want to pay for premium projects or get free projects, you can. If you want to search for some butterfly projects, go up, search for the butterfly projects. You see these AI images down here though? Those three, we're going to make those. If you come over here to AI make, now this is just one way to access it, but if you come over here to AI make, you will get this screen and you can scroll down and learn about what it is. It's basically AI image generation. Now you may have questions about this, so I'm going to tell you, you can find the credit account that you have because you're already logged in. You can click on this. It'll bring you to a screen with like all of the credits you've used. I don't know where all of my history went and I'm missing like 300 credits, but I'll talk to Xtool about that. Um, but here you will get a history of everything. You can also go in here and buy credit. I'll tell you as somebody who has to pay for AI tools, this right here is a good deal. This right here. If you don't have any and you want to just get a little, that's a good deal. So how do you access this from the software? So when you create a new file, I'm going to be using the S140 watt today along with the air purifier, but you can see I'm offline. Uh, I'm not connected to anything. I'm going to go ahead and hit AI make. Now I am connected to the internet through my phone because I happen to be in the car. <laughs> um, but you can see in here, look at all of the, you have inspiration, you have algorithm styles and you have the ability to put in a prompt. So I'm going to choose low relief and paste in this prompt. Please create an astronaut in a space helmet and spacesuit floating in a starry sky and include a depth of field to create an illusion that there's some stars far away. Okay. So this is what we get. I'm going to tell you always download the image. If you feel you could use it for something, I am going to download this and save it and then open it. You can see here, I could make a sticker out of that. I could make an ornament out of that. I could put that into the M1 Ultra and print it. I could engrave it. There's a lot of things I can do with that, but that's not what I want. I want to go in here and try marble sculpture. I am using the same prompt. I am going to hit generate. I'm going to use a new set of credits because now it's, this is a second version. I don't like that. So now I'm going to choose the same prompt and choose hollow because I've never done one like this. Another 12 credits and look what I get. It's magical. I love this one, kind of enamored. And if you're looking and you're like, that's not an engraving image, oh, it will be in about three minutes. So hold on. I'm going to save it to my device, but you can also import it to XCS. I recommend doing both. So you can see I import at the actual size. I do not let the system edit anything for me, including the size. Just a tip. I'm going to click on it and you can see in the processing menu, we only have the option to engrave. And that is because it's a bitmap. So if you want to put in some settings, you can actually go up to user defined settings, search slate, or actually I think it's rock coaster in their system and hit confirm and it'll put the default. I have my own, but you're going to determine which ones are testing. That is a very good start. I'll just tell you it's a good start. Okay. Grayscale is what I'm going to be using for slate. Do a quick search, use Bing and do a quick search as to engraving algorithms, depending on what you're using the material. So first we have to come up to the adjust menu and choose invert at the very bottom. Now we can adjust through here, but I'm not going to yet because I have a real good feeling. We're now going to go to the edit menu. There's two options. You can magic wand, which will click on a color and it'll take everything of that color away. You can also use the magic wand on detail pieces like this. So for those of you who are like, I have old people eyes like Sarah, you can use the zoom feature and come in here and just choose this all the way around the astronaut. You want your focus to be clean. I'm even, even taking away like that fuzz color around the stars. You can also go to the eraser, adjusting the size for your project, and then you can take away some of the other things that could muddy it up. Extra stars, uh, this random line, 
just take those away with the eraser. And once you have that, you're going to hit save. Now I urge you to go in here right now and choose your filter. That's black and white for my project. I'm going to be engraving it. Now at this point, we need to save this. Go to file, go to save, and then save this to your device. Let me explain something. It doesn't auto save. You can lose your progress. So we just want to make sure. Okay, so now I'm going to mimic what I am doing so I can get an idea about size and design. So I'm going to either hit C or go over to the shape menu and create a circle about four inches. This is not going to get cut. It's not going to get engraved. It will actually be set to output none. So on the little toggle, we just choose ignore or we just actually turn it to off. I'm going to then size my piece. Now I want it to be left of center and so I need to fill in some areas, right? Because I'm going to have no stars in some areas. I'm going to do that by copying and pasting. So I'm going to remove the pasted copy over here. Not, I'm not, we're going to go to the uh, edit menu. And now I'm going to make an eraser very large and take away everything except some stars. I want one large or medium sized star and then a whole bunch of little stars and hit save. Now that's what I have. Now I can turn this, position this, size this, whatever you want to do onto other areas. So I'm going to have two copies of those. Now I'm going to save it again. And remember, we're not going to do anything with this circle, right? But I do want to see where my piece is. So I'm going to set the circle to engrave and then I'm going to make sure my stars are actually covering where I want them to, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and position everything again. We save. And now I'm going to group all that together. You can hit Rock Coaster if you hadn't already, and you can see the settings are inside. I check my own personal settings. I'm going to connect to my device, and I'm going to connect to the air purifier or my inline fan. So up here in the upper right, you can see my AP2, which is the purifiers connected. I also have the IF2. If you're in an apartment or have no way to vent, the purifier is best. If you are in a house and have a way to vent, the inline fan will work just fine. So I put my laser crosshair over the material and choose the auto measure. This will happen automatically. You don't have to do anything. It'll measure the distance and then enter that distance inside our software. Isn't that fly? So now we have to actually tell the laser, hey, where do you want to process this? So I'm going to go ahead and hit auto uh, marking. I'm going to choose circle. Now we're going to take our laser crosshair. We're going to put it at the very far left of our area and hit the start button on the machine. Then we're going to move it over to the right and hit the start button again. Second dot is on the screen. Move it to the bottom down here, a little between those two dots hit start and now we have a circle. You'll hit end marking and done and now you have the exact area. So at this point, again, we can go ahead and size it exactly to our piece. Now we're gonna make sure we set that circle to ignore. I'm gonna lock it as well. But now we're just gonna be engraving and processing that engraving. So if you have grouped all of your pieces together, you can put all of these settings in as one. Now you can see my settings here. This is what works for me and my laser after testing. You can run your own material test. It's right there in the laser software. So now at the, my uh, settings are in, law, in, in on the system now we're going to frame so you see how my little framing is way outside of my slate coaster if you weren't watching i would actually just process it um but because you're watching i'm gonna hit framing completed and listen here's here's what you do you can actually ungroup if you group like me you can ungroup these three images, right? We have three pieces, two copies of the stars and one astronaut. So you can actually come in here and select any of these three images. Then you're gonna select ungroup. Then you're just gonna select the image and then you're gonna to go to edit up here at the top and choose your eraser and erase what you don't want. That's the easiest and fastest way to remove it. Do I care? I do not. It won't mark my bed up, so I would have just run it. But again, group it all together. Your settings are already in. You've already framed it. Now it's time to send the file to the laser. So you can see it's only going to take five minutes, which is insane. Algorithm updates XTool has worked so hard to do. I'm just so impressed. When we hit start, it sends the laser 
the file and then we hit start on the machine to actually start the process. Now my air purifier automatically comes on and does the auto venting for me and it sets the uh, power. Here you can see the machine is working. This is real time. I just love Slate. When the machine is done, you get this little tidbit inside your software which is nice. And then I'm going to open this. It's going to vent out for 20 seconds because that is what I have set for my purifier to do. Once that's done, I'm going to open it and let me move the camera. This is directly out of my, um, like you can see here, this is under my yellow, like warm lights in my office. So let me get you outside with this. I just clean this and then here's the images of it outside. Look at the detail. Do you see all those teeny tiny stars? The reflection of the stars in the helmet just gets me. And guess what? That is it for this craft. You are done. You are totally done. And you did it from start to finish with AI. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I'll put the links to everything down below. Have a great day. Follow for more.